all my kings and queens welcome back to my channel for part number 49 oh gosh my headphones oh jesus okay welcome back to my channel for part number 49 of the single father challenge what single father challenge who do 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 what no i'm just kidding i had to add a little bit of extra in there we are so close to part number 50 like is anybody else tripping because of it i think this is part 49 yes it is okay so i'm really excited and i hope that you guys are as well so for the last few episodes because we are really getting close to the end like we are more than halfway through with this series and because of that i really want to for the next few episodes before damien passes away i want to focus a little bit more on the kids and their development and getting them good grades and working on their skills and getting their relationships up because i feel like because this is a challenge and i feel like this is really some Similar with like any type of challenge the legacy challenge the you know the 100 baby challenge and stuff like that you're so engulfed in making sure that you pass the challenge and just getting through the entire thing that you don't really realize that you're kind of missing the family aspect of the game and getting to know the kids and stuff like that and even though I do have a few kids that we've definitely taken the time to get to know like Audrey and Tara we focus on Tara a crap ton um, even Paris and we didn't really focus on any of the boys to be quite honest um, we just kind of focused on the actual challenge which is fine you know obviously it's a challenge and you want to do that but I want to start focusing from now on a little bit more on our kids and their relationships and everything like that and making sure that our kids are as successful as they can be so today I'm thinking that Damien could actually take Wyatt to go and drive I'm sorry I just started my game so it's gonna be a little bit glitchy um, Damien is actually gonna get up early today and he is going to take Wyatt to go drive because I kind of want Wyatt and Winter to share a car while they're teenagers because I feel like it would just make more sense for them to share a car who is calling you answer your phone Answer your phone. Answer, answer your phone. Wyatt, answer your phone. Melissa Holm wants to know if Wyatt wants to go on a date. But I was going to teach him how to drive. Oh, but what if she's cute? Okay, we're going to go. So, never mind. Wyatt is going to go on a date. And I think that Winter is going to be taught how to drive then. If Wyatt is not... Um, is if Wyatt's doing his own thing. So I'm going to actually get Winter to go and get taught how to drive because one of the twins needs to know how to drive. Like, it's a necessity. We're going to go ahead and hang up her stuff here. I think I don't think this is her stuff. I think this is Audrey's. And it's actually Tara's birthday today. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and teach Winter how to drive. Um, and then later on today, we're going to go and uh, take Tara to, um, we're going to throw, should we throw a birthday party for her? Or should we just like do something simple at the house? I think we are going to throw a birthday party for her, but we're only going to invite the family because I feel like, but we just had a birthday party in the last episode and I'm kind of tired of parties. Um, you know what? I think we'll just have it at the house, but what I'm actually going to do, or, oh, can we have a sleepover? I feel like she doesn't know enough people to have a sleepover, which kind of sucks. I wish she knew more people. Hmm. We definitely need to throw a sleepover, like, before this series ends. Maybe, like, Skylar and Shane could throw a sleepover or something. I don't know. But anyways, I want to kind of show you guys what I did to the twins. So this is Shane. No, this is Skylar. Um, so this is what Skylar gives, looks like. I just kind of gave him, like, this blue cardigan and this cute little, like, swooshy haircut. And then I also gave him these shoes. His outfit isn't so great. Like, I definitely feel like it could use some improvement. But I was lazy and did not want to go full on out. But um, let me show you guys Shane's outfit because he actually looks really freaking cute. He is so adorable. Okay, so we're going to do every day. I love his haircut and everything. He's just perfect. So this is what Shane looks like. He's got his little red shoes and his jeans and his cardigan, just like his brother. I love it. So um, yeah, they're super cute. I love them a lot. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this cake because it's literally just sitting around. And I want to go to the festival today, but at the same time, I feel like we've got so much to do. 
I don't know. Maybe because it's Tara's birthday, maybe she could take the kids to the festival and we could do that. We're not going to stop being friends with Hunter. You love Hunter. He's your favorite. Okay, so is the festival in town? I don't know if it is, but that'd be kind of cool if we could like go to the festival and just like chill there or something. I don't know. I feel like we just, there's not a lot to do in this town and it kind of makes me sad. Or maybe we could go to a game with Hunter. Just take Hunter out for the day. I don't know. She really likes Hunter though. Like Hunter is her favorite out of all of her siblings. Definitely Hunter's her favorite. So I think we are probably going to take out Hunter somewhere. And we're going to go. Where could we go? Where could we go? We've got... Do, do, do. Let's see. The business as usual. Bistro. We could go out to eat, but that'd be kind of weird uh, to go to a fancy restaurant with your little brother. I don't know how I'd feel about that. Maybe we could go. Hmm. I don't know. I would really want to go somewhere with him, though. Maybe we could go to like a. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Becky, I just don't know. I just don't know. There's like no festival or anything going on. That's really weird. Like usually there's some type of festival grounds. This is a playground. I guess we could go to the playground. Let's go to the Romper Recreational Playground and we're going to go with Hunter. And I got to remind her to take her freaking car. So we're going to make this our preferred vehicle. And they're going to go to the park together because as I said, Hunter is like her favorite. So... I'm definitely gonna go with him this girl freaking invited us to a dang um doesn't she look a little old for us maybe that's just because they're on a hill but she looks like an adult like she looks really freaking tall like is it just me i don't know maybe she is a teenager i i don't freaking know but she looks gigantic gigantic why can i not hear anything like i literally cannot hear a thing what is going on i cannot hear any audio you guys what is going on i can't hear no audio let me check my sound really quick you guys oh that's why the sims 3 is turned all the way down okay there we go i should be able to hear now so we're gonna go ahead and talk to this girl um she's actually pretty cute um I don't know. I feel like Wyatt could have a thing for blondes, maybe. I don't know. He doesn't really... He likes all women. You know what I mean? He's like his daddy, okay? He's like his daddy. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and uh, talk to talk to her a little bit and get to know her because she's, she's actually kind of cute. I definitely feel like we could give her a makeover and she could be Wyatt's new beau. But she 100% looks like an adult. Like, it's, it's really creepy. Like, are you guys sure she's not an adult? I kind of want to go and create a sim and give her a makeover just so I can see if she's an adult. But I think I'll do that later. It just, she was, looks really tall and it's like weird because I feel like, hold on, let me check. It doesn't say if she's a teen or not. Crazy crap, what the heck? Okay, so we're just going to continue to talk to her and get to know her a little bit better because feel like that's the best thing that we can do she's actually really cute though her name is melissa holm and apparently she is family oriented which is great okay so tara is she is at the i think she's there with hunter right yeah okay so it looks like they're both at the park now did you bring your soccer ball because you and your brother could play come on load up load up load up we could go and I don't even know what could we go do you guys I feel like there's not much to do do we have fruit in our inventory because they could eat that no we do not crap what is going on today why don't we have any food y'all okay we're gonna sell all this stuff and they probably should have gone out to eat first I feel like that was a smarter idea <laughs> because they're both starving actually Tara is kind of hungry but I don't think that um hunter is but we're gonna go ahead and play soccer can we play soccer with hunter no we'll just be friendly and ask about his day and i think we can go on the seesaw together we'll do that she really loves her little brother she really really does okay even though he's got fleas what are the twins doing okay so she has improved her driving skill to level two that's pretty cool Yay! So that means Winter is actually really close to learning how to drive. Let's check on the house really quick. I kind of hate going back and forth because, oh gosh, my game just went on a spazoid. Um, 
I hate going back and forth because it makes my game a little bit laggy. Where is this one? You need a freaking, a freaking, um, a bath or something. And I don't think any of the kids can do that for you, which kind of sucks. The twins are actually home by themselves. What is your relationship? None of you guys have a relationship with paint. Okay, we'll go ahead and try to gain a relationship with the dog so that we can give her a bath because I think that kids can bathe pets. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to try to build some type of relationship and maybe that will help. Okay, we are going to brush her again. And then I think that Skylar is going to go and have some cereal. And then we are going to, can we bathe? No, we cannot. Are you kidding me? We can't freaking bathe the pet. Y'all, I'm struggling. Okay, guys, we got to focus on Wyatt and his date because... That's the most important part of this episode. Like, none of our kids have literally been, like, asked out like this. So we need to focus on this girl and what's going on with them. So I know that Paint is in a really bad mood, obviously, um, but that's just because of her destruction. And she also has fleas, but nobody's at the house to give her a flea bath. So we can't really do much about her mood. So sorry, 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 sorry. We are just going to continue to talk to this beauty. She is so pretty. Like, she's actually really cute. I still feel like she's an adult. And she doesn't have on any pants. Which is really disturbing. Really disturbing. Either that or her, her shirt's just really long. Which, girls at my school used to think that was cute. Like, a really, really long t-shirt with, like, short pants. So it didn't look like they had any pants on. And it was just like, girl, like, put on some pants, girl. Okay. So the regular chef could not make it. Who cares? Like that has nothing to do with what we are doing right now. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We are going to get to know her a little bit better. We will be funny. Actually, we're on a date. So I feel like it would only be right if we made her over, first of all, and we took her out somewhere. It's... I don't think the movie is open, but we could go somewhere else. But really quick before we do that, I kind of want to give this ratchet girl a makeover because I'm not feeling her look. Um, she definitely is an adult. Like, definitely. She's a freaking adult. Are you kidding me? We wasted our time on a... Why are you asking out a child is my real question. This girl is a cougar. She's like, huh, I think we're going to have to end this date a little bit early because uh, we're not dealing with no cougars, honey. Like, I'm, I I knew she was an adult. I had a bad feeling. This girl's a cougar. Why are we on a date with a cougar? Go away. <laughs> we're leaving. Goodbye. Um. Yeah, we're definitely leaving. That's really creepy. This girl... He's literally like 16, probably 15, and he just, she, this probably like 25-year-old woman just asked him out on a date. He's going to go home, and he's going to call his brother and talk to him. And they don't really have a good relationship, but he's going to call Preston anyways, and they're going to chat for a little bit because that's crazy. He's going to be like, bro, bro, this 25-year-old woman asked me out on a date. Like, like what? Like, what? gonna be crazy but we're gonna talk to our brother and I really want to throw a slumber party like so bad I cannot believe this 25 year old probably cougar cougar wooger just asked us out on a date like I mean I have nothing wrong with dating younger men like whatever like you do you okay but um he's illegal like of illegal age. I mean, technically it's The Sims though, so like who cares? But serious, serious, still, still, seriously, like, like what, like what? So anyways, he's talking to his brother, talking about the whole situation and uh, Winter is heading home because she is freaking stressed as can be. And um, we need to meet people, we really do. What is Hunter doing? Hunter and, um, what's his face? What's her face are at the, uh, at the park. I just realized that he's in trouble. So I don't know if he can even go out. Oh well, we're already out, so might as well. 
Okay, so she's a little bit hungry, so her and Hunter are going to go out and go eat because why not? We are going to eat with others, and we're just going to eat at the diner with Hunter. And then I think that the rest of the kids are probably going to head to the arcade for a little bit because we still have pretty much the entire day to do our stuff. Damien needs to actually take care of his garden. Because that's a big deal. Like, we really, really need to get our freaking garden together. Like, no joke. No freaking joke. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights in here because there's, like, no lights in here. Are you kidding me? I think when he comes in here, there will be lights. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tend our garden. And then we will dispose of all of our dead plants. We really need to make sure this garden is taken care of. And Damien's kind of stressed, but as I said... The garden is a little bit more important. So we're going to take care of that. And um, yeah, he's just going to gonna do his thing. You guys were like dogging Damien in the last episode because of his haircut. I was like, y'all are so mean. So mean. Y'all was like talking all this trash. <laughs> but you won't say it to his face though. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. But it was really funny. I was like, they dogging Damien right now. Like literally with his pigtails. I like okay I did change it though because he was looking a little ratchet but it was funny it was really funny okay so Tara and Hunter are out to eat which is great um, because they actually both have fleas and we've got a lot of gyms here that are worth a pretty good amount of money we really need to start going gym hunting again because I really want a big big collection of gems before he passes away that's really the only thing that ever kept us in a good stance with our money situation, but we'll see. And then probably everybody's going to come back at around five or six, and then we're going to have Tara's little little house party. We're not going to... I know I told you guys that we're going to throw a birthday party for every single kid that came along that turned into an adult, but we literally just had a party in the last episode, and I'm just, I just don't want to be bothered with all those Sims. Like, I really don't, so... I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit raspy. I'm literally so tired. There's like no water in this. I'm gonna cry. Okay, anyways. So yeah, that's what we are going to do. Um, we are, we are, we are, we are. Okay, so they are all at the, um, the arcade. Twins with twins, that's what we're doing. So we are gonna go ahead and chill here. Oh, I remember when I first built this, you guys. This was like episode 20, I think, when I first built this arcade. And it was like the first time I'd ever really tried to build and it literally looks like trash garbage. Ah, oh, those days, those days, those days. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, have a little bit of fun. I miss this. Oh, this makes me so sad. Okay, so I think that the boys are going to... I think Shane is a little bit hungry. So can we like... Okay, there's nobody working here. Crap. Let's go ahead and grab some popcorn. And I think that we could go ahead and get... Oh, who is this? Wait, 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 wait. I spy a little teen. Is that a teen? I don't think she's a teen. No, she's not. She is a barista bartender. But oh, I was about to be like, oh, here's a friend. That's definitely Skylar. Okay, and then we've also got, whose sister is this? I think that this is Paris's sister, if I'm not mistaken. This is Winter. I forgot whose sister she was. Let me check. Okay, so we've got, let's check out Paris and Preston. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so they're Paris and Preston's sister. Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure, but whatever. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and play. Doo, doo, doo. Let's go in the photo booth with our brother. We're going to take some silly photos, and we're going to take them with Wyatt. And Hunter just ate at a restaurant. Yay. I think they're going to come and meet their siblings over here. The formal dance is going to be on Wednesday, which is pretty exciting. And Amy's here. That's crazy. I have not seen her in a while. So, yeah, they're both going to come over here. And they're going to have fun at the arcade because why not? And she wants to throw eggs at a Sims house. We're definitely doing that. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Take your photos. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see what they look like. They're so cute. I love them. 
Okay. We definitely need to... Okay, they're best friends. I was going to say, we definitely need to improve their relationship, but it seems like it's fine, so I'm not going to... Not gonna worry about it. Okay, so winter has successfully captured a moment in time forever. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, where is Hunter? They're almost on their way. Seems seems fair enough. Okay, so dude, I know you're hungry. Didn't you just have popcorn, you fat butt? Can we get something from the barista or like is that not possible? Guess not. Okay, we'll just go ahead and grab a gumball and just keep eating gumballs and popcorn. That's literally what it seems like we're going to have to keep doing because it's a struggle. It's it's a struggle out here. Okay, so let's see who else is. <gasps> Tara's mom is here. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a moment in history and it's her birthday. We're going to greet her. Say, hey, mom. Um, Haven't seen you since you, you left, you know? Really nice to see you. She's so gonna be like, oh my god, Terry, you look so beautiful. I know. I know. You ain't gonna tell me. I know I'm fine, girl. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we are saying hello to our mom. She has not really ever talked to her mom, like, as an adult, which is crazy to think. Like, none of our kids really have any contact with their parents. I think that Audrey actually lives with her mom right now, but as far as, like, our younger kids, they don't really care to know their parents, which is, you know... They know that their dad raised them, and that's all that they need to know. So anyways, we are just going to go ahead and continue to uh, talk to um, to our mom. And do we have any fruit in here? Yes, we do. We can actually give some to little Shaney Bear, and he's going to eat those. Perfect. Okay, and then I think we are going to get help with our homework. And we are going to get Winter to help us. Or maybe Wyatt. Wyatt, Wyatt, Wyatt. My voice gets so croaky sometimes when I'm talking for too long. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for Tara to be an adult though because I want to explore that vocal legend thing. And I will definitely be doing that for the next 20 episodes that we have. I will be exploring Tara's career. I don't know if I want her to move out or if I want her to stay in the house. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like Tara to stay in the house or if you would like her to leave. So, yeah. We are going to go ahead and race. And, oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Can the boys race? No, they cannot. Okay. I remember when Audrey and Josiah did this. Do you guys remember that? Oh god okay we are going to get the girls to race and we are gonna let them do i guess we'll do easy and we're gonna get tara and winter to go i know for a fact that tara is gonna win because she has a better athletic skill but yet and still it'll be nice to uh have them do something together so they are doing their homework this freaking cc looks so weird like tara's butt cheeks are hanging out and stuff. I don't even know what that glitch is, but it's super weird. Okay, so let me see about our other kids. Hunter is just gonna play some basketball. He's gonna challenge, where's Skylar? Did Skylar leave? Oh no, okay, so he's gonna challenge Skylar. And then while they're doing that, we are gonna focus on our girls. Kinda just wanna watch them race and see who wins? Even though I know for freaking a fact that Tara is going to win. If Winter wins, I will be extremely surprised. I mean, I highly doubt it. Which, oh my god. Oh my gosh. If Tara does not win this, I will be so surprised. T Tara is the only one with an athletic skill, I think. Let me check Tara's athletic skill. Yeah, she's level 4. Winter has no athletic skill whatsoever. Okay, but that's not fair, because I feel like Winter got a head start. <laughs> you can definitely tell who my favorite is. Tara, what the fluke? How did you even fail that? You're like an athletic queen. She's like, <laughs> she's like punishing the crap out of herself. She's like, are you freaking kidding me? So she has won, and she got 100 simoleons from it. So regardless, we still got money. Um, we're going to go ahead and collect the money, or this little rock thing. Oh, and I totally forgot that there was these little stands here. We could actually get food from here if we really wanted to. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get her to buy some food. And, oh my gosh, what is that freaking horrendous noise? Uh, this music is garbage. Can we, like, 
turn it down a little bit just a little bit like really disable this entire lot because the music is not good okay so winter has just found her first rock congratulations i think dad is still working on his garden but he is in a really crappy mood so we're gonna go ahead and get him to eat his little stuff that he has over here i think hunter lost against skylar which is crazy uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get dad to take care of himself he's gonna shower and all that good stuff and then I think that all the kids are probably going to head home pretty soon because we do need to throw Tara's birthday party and I want to have enough time in this episode to give her a makeover. So we're just going to, we'll see. But right now I kind of just want to get the kids to know each other a little bit better. Because Hunter and Skylar would be like, I feel like they'd be best friends. I feel like all three of them would be really close because they're the youngest boys and I just feel like they'd be BFFs if they really could. We're going to give our freaking brother um, fleas because we're freaking messing around and can't go home. We're going to all go home now because we need to throw Tara's birthday party. Gonna go home, gonna go home, gonna, 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 gonna go home. Did you finish your homework, dude? I think most of our kids have finished their work, which is pretty sweet if I do say so myself. All right, you guys, so it is time for our baby Tara, our baby Tara, to go ahead and age up into a freaking teenage, I mean, not a teenager, a freaking adult. Oh my gosh, like, oh my Lord. I am just so excited. Her grades are amazing. She freaking got taught how to drive. We have just made a success out of this girl and I love her so much. She is just like, girl like slay like slay i never thought i would love tara as much as i do when she was first um birthed but i really do love her a lot so anyways uh we're gonna go ahead and age her up and then i think i will give her a makeover and we'll probably end this part this is so sad look at this family like audrey and all of them are missing and it just feels so off not having them around it makes me sad like i, I really really it makes me sad uh, but I have a really exciting sort of ending to this series that I'm thinking about doing. And hopefully it turns out the way that I want it to, but we shall see. Anyways, Hunter needs to freaking go shower because you stank. Oh, God, you stank. Okay. Oh, my gosh, you guys. So, Sarah is finally a young adult with all the privileges and responsibilities of adulthood. Her future is wide open. What will she accomplish? Because of her success in school, she may choose a trait for Tara. Oh, my lord. Okay. So, I'm just going to kind of randomize it and do that. And we are going to go and create a sim, and uh, we're going to see what this beautiful girl looks like. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Like, I'm just, I'm just so excited. She is so pretty. Okay, she looks a lot like Paris. A lot like Paris. But, um, yeah, she looks very, very much like Paris. Okay, so... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, I like this hair on her, but I think that I'm going to go for something a little bit more, like, not over the top, you know what I mean? I really like this hairstyle, too, but I feel like it'd be kind of weird on her. I don't know, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe we could just go for, like, her high school. Oh, that's cute. Oh. <gasps> I actually really like this. This kind of reminds me of like Grease or something. I don't know, but I know you guys probably aren't gonna like it, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it on. I'm not gonna do it. I think we should kind of stick with her old hairstyle for now, just because I'm not really sure what I want to do with her just yet. So we're gonna stick with the oldies, stick with the stuff that we know, if you will. And I'm gonna kind of change her eyelashes a little bit she's got some big old lips girl big old kiss of lips i love it she's got them big kiss lips kiss 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 okay i think she's really pretty though i actually really like her okay i didn't know that she was gonna end up looking like this though like i expected her to look somewhat a little bit different but i'm fine with the way that she turned out her lips are so kissable like they're so they're so plump i love it okay Anyways, we are going to, I kind of like this brown color on her. 
I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm talking a little bit fast. I am really freaking tired, so... And my voice might sound extremely raspy. As I said, I am tired. I know somebody's going to point it out and they're going to give me crap for it. But everybody knows that my voice sounds hideous when I am tired. Okay. So let's see what else we could do for our sweetums. Sweetum deedums. E I kind of like this. And then if we give her a little bit of highlight... And then change it to white, because highlight's white, right? I think so. And then we'll, like, do that. She's actually really freaking pretty. Like, she is going to have guys falling at her knees, girl. I already feel it. I already know. Like, I have predicted the future. I know there are going to be guys all over this girl. Okay. Her dad's going to have to beat them off with a stick. Like, let's be real. We are going to go ahead and uh, change up her outfit a little bit. I kind of want to give her a lip piercing, but I'm not going to because, I don't know. I mean, it, I guess it would be kind of interesting because none of our kids have had piercings. But I feel like if any of our kids were to have a piercing, I feel like it would be winter. So maybe not. Maybe I will just stick to my usual plan. Okay. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. She's so pretty. I can't get over it. Cannot get over it. Let's see if we can give her like a... She'd actually be really cute with a tattoo too. I never really put tattoos on my girl Sims, but I feel like she'd be really cute with one. Like right there. We could put one. I don't know. Okay, anyways, we're going to focus back to the situation at hand. Okay, so I want to give her some earrings. So we're going to give her some hoops. She's so pretty. She looks the exact same, though, which is crazy to me. Like, I would think that she'd change at least a little bit, but she looks the exact same. Literally the exact same. Okay. And then I'm going to give her a cute little outfit. I kind of like this. I always use this outfit, though, I feel like. I'm sorry. I'm getting... I'm getting texted it if my phone's getting blown up. Um, that's really cute too, actually. I think I might go for this and then give her like some jeans or something. Maybe. Maybe. She's really skinny. Really, really skinny. Really, really, really skinny. This is really cute too. Okay, let's go for... This is taking forever. <laughs> I am so indecisive, I know hold on okay okay i swear i swear i next outfit okay maybe not that one next outfit mm, don't like that either okay i am just a champion at picking clothes yes girl oh i like that i feel like that's kind of weird for her to wear every freaking day oh this is cute too maybe like the rocker look no or maybe just a regular. Ooh, okay, I like that. We're going to change the color, though, because I don't really like the pastel color. Maybe if we make it a little bit darker. Ooh, or we could even make this black. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, we're going for that. Okay, so, and then I'm just going to give her some regular black heels. And then I think that is it and i am going to go ahead and end this part right on here let me know in the comments down below what you think about tara do you think that she's the prettiest of the sisters i definitely think she is very very beautiful and she has grown up so much since like she was first born because remember when i told you guys she wasn't that cute like y'all remember that i was throwing shade but she has definitely grown into her own skin and i love her she's really pretty but anyways i hope you guys all enjoyed this video raspy voice and all Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the beautiful stuff down below. Also, leave in the comments down below some of your opinions on this beautiful sim. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you guys. You